Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. If you are considering buying irons in 2023, then I suggest you stick around and watch this video. Because today I will be testing the new Callaway Paradigm irons. And trust me, they're interesting. Now I hear what you say, what makes these so interesting? After all, they're just another hollow bodied iron with some tungsten inside, a bit of shiny chrome and uh, well, a forgiving, launch the ball high, do everything that any other game improvement set of irons is set out to do. So what's the difference then? Well, the first difference being is the way these things look because what Callaway have done a particularly good job of is giving themselves an absolute unique look to go with that unique name, Paradigm. Paradigm. I still can't get my head around that, but what I can get my head around is just how good these things look. Because what they've done is they've managed to make a game improvement iron look pretty damn cool in my opinion. They've also managed to make it in a head design that is bulky in terms of top line, but that's about it because the rest of the body in terms of heel and toe, in terms of the width and sole is quite compact. It's quite an appealing iron to a majority, a mass of players. So I call this a game improvement iron that is aimed at the masses and not the minority. But of course we will be putting these to the test in terms of performance and I've got pitching wedge through to four iron, a full set of irons. We're going to play three holes here at Hollywell Golf Club and I'll tell you what I think of these from the long end of the bag down to the short end. Right, four iron to start the day. Right, so first notable thing from the four iron that I hit was that it looks very, very compact still at address. Like I said, the thing they've done particularly well is making a four iron that's got a fairly thick top line, I suppose you'd call it, but overall heel to toe still fairly compact. So it kind of keeps everybody happy. Somebody who wants a compact head profile, it's there. Somebody wants a little bit of bulk and mass to sort of suggest a bit more forgiveness, that's there also. The ball itself, fairly low ball fight, Went down the middle, it's a decent enough start. Right, one slight change, we're gonna play five iron as opposed to four. Let's just get this one down the middle and see if we can leave a shorter iron at least into the green. Again, not the best of strikes, but the ball has still done incredibly well. That's down, slightly down the left hand side, but again, airborne, did okay. Impressive for the quality of strike, I'd say. I say impressive based on the quality of strike, because it's always interesting when uh, we're just a couple of shots in, not the best swings, but then how do you gauge your club's performance? Do you gauge it on when you're swinging the club incredibly well, and hitting it out the middle, or do you gauge it on the two swings that I've just hit, which are the kind of, your typical first two swings of the day, where, let's be honest, you want all the help you can get. And in those cases, they've both done probably better than expected. Well, like I said, not the best two irons, but we're, well, we're in the middle of the fair. We've got 110 in, there's a par five. Um, so what we're looking at now is just a sort of, a nice easy pitching wedge. Come on, get a bit more rhythm in this swing, will you? Right, let's see if we can get one close. Well, again, just a tad heavy, but I think it'll get there. Yeah, we've got front edge with three not so great strikes. I'm not doing these clubs any justice by any means. And I think maybe, like I keep saying, that could be far more of a positive than actually hitting these things out the middle each time. Well, I suppose the fact we made green in reg means that the irons did their bit and that's what we're reviewing, but I'll have to have a little bit of a putt even though Greens have only just opened after being an absolute deluge of rain the last few days, so I've got a feeling this is going to need a bit of a whack. Is that a good pace? Well, it's good enough, and good enough for a gimme. It's a winter gimme, especially when you're playing golf on your own. Right, let's get a mid-iron out. Right, next up we've got a par 3, 140 yards, a great little uh, sort of basin hole here. We can't, we can see the tip, or at least I can see the tip of the flag. Uh, but what you've got to do is clear sort of, if it's playing 140, then we've got to clear about 120. I'm playing eight iron and uh, 
I'd just like to see again sort of a decent strike and see what we do in terms of ball flight with uh, with eight iron or mid mid to short iron in hand. That's a much better strike, pure, straight. Is it the right distance? Seems to be. It certainly cleared that yard as I suggested. Felt really good. And again, nice little ball flight. They kind of, what, what, what it interests me about these irons and why I said they're of particular interest is that they almost feel like if you were doing a blind test, they'd almost feel like a bit of a player's iron. So they kind of, even visually from a ball flight perspective, that is an innate iron that's sort of popping up ridiculously high into the sky. So it's got much more of a feel of a player's type iron. But then when you look down at it, particularly the top line, you see a little bit of um, mass, which slightly contradicts that. But everything else, like I said, suggests it's much more of a player's iron. So you've got this really interesting um, kind of balance between what a lot of us want, which is some help and assistance, that little compact head style, and at the end of it all, a good looking club in terms of in your bag and shelf appeal. And just to, to elaborate what I mean by like, feels like a player's club is because often when you get down to this sort of game improvement category, everything becomes a little, and, and hollow body full stop, is often things become a little bit clicky in terms of the sound, in my opinion. They don't do that and they keep, they have a real good solid feel to them and uh, certainly don't feel in terms of that hollow bodied and that microsphere, urethane microspheres that they call it, in terms of that little dampening bar they put inside that wrap around the tungsten. It certainly seems to me that it works incredibly well. They did it with the ST Pro, um, the last lineup in the Rogues, again, got some real good feel and I think they've enhanced it a little bit more into these paradigms. So that was interesting pin high. It was 141 to the flag and we got that bang on in terms of yardage. Don't forget I played eight iron. I don't know the strength of lofts. I'll put that on the screen for you now. Um, but yeah, easy eight. Got there nice and comfortably. No doubt you could go after that and give it a fair old whack and get it a whole lot further. Right, definitely wet greens. Can we give this enough to get there and keep it smooth at the same time? The answer is no. I can't even give myself a generous gimme on that one. Right. This has got a big swing and a bit of pace to worry about. Never a doubt. That's par par with paradigm. Par par paradigm. Two holes in, uh, pretty pleased in terms of performance. Maybe a bad move sitting on that bench. Sit on me hands, I think. Um, what I want to know is this, these again are coming in with a price tag, probably £1,000 plus in terms of a set of irons. Times are difficult right now, I think that's fair to say for everybody and what I want to know is are you considering buying anything new in terms of your golf bag setup this year? If so, are irons on the list? If so, are Callaway Paradigm irons on the list? So let me know what your thoughts are. Maybe it was a general one in terms of what you've seen so far in terms of the price tags attached to the 2023 releases. And uh, yeah, give me your opinion. I've got an idea. I, uh, yeah, I know what to expect. Right, two pars. We've had a par five, a par three. It's only right we finish things off with a par four. Hang on with four iron. If we can hit one nice and straight, it should leave a fairly short iron into this green. Right, come on. Yeah, that's much better iron in terms of playing that longer iron. I've hit a fair few balls um, that for me, I've been the interesting bit is just going back as that was the par five I played down, everything was straight. That's obviously a real key bonus. Now, arguably, I don't know, maybe I'm swinging the club with less cut spin on it whatever you want to call it but the ball has been straight every iron shot that I've hit and that's a major major tick in the box isn't it is that down to paradigm or is that down to today's swing I'm not sure but I really want to encourage you to get involved in that comment section below I really want some discussion because I love the fact that it's great feedback for me but it's also great to see the conversation between your fellow golfers as well so the one thing I want to know as well is what are your thoughts on this paradigm iron set because I don't think it is very different. Um, it's very different in many ways in the colourway. It's very different in the way that backside has been put together. 
I think it's very different in the fact that it's just its profile is different. But um, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think. Is there anything standing out in this range you think is particularly appealing or maybe particularly different? Well, in this category, one thing that's always commented on that sort of playability or the lack of it, a lot of golfers would class this iron as being, well, certainly fall down in that department. Um, I don't know what we've got in terms of yardage, but I want it to be much more of a field shot. We've got, for me, I'm playing in around 110. I'm going to go with a 9 iron. I'm going to flight it in a bit lower. This is going to take one bounce and stop, you know, the greens are right now. The fact is, can we do that with this club? Well, we certainly flighted it down. It's almost sit down. What we've done is, and it's a tendency with that type of shot, for me at least anyway, trying to execute it, is I've just pulled it, just that smothered it a little bit and pulled it down that left-hand side. But I think when we get up there, it's pin high. The fact is, I was able to execute the shot in terms of its ball, ball flight. And it often makes me laugh about playability. I think playability is virtually available in any type of iron you wish to play. It's your ability to execute the shot is the difference. But if you want to know whether these irons have playability, the answer is yes. So as I roll up another two put par, the interesting thing is, is just how good you manage to play golf when you've got irons in your bag or, or when you've not got the uh, weapons of mass destruction, that being drivers and fairway woods at times. I've just rattled off three pars and fairly controlled golf. Um, but my thoughts on Paradigm irons is one of real interest because normally an iron will fall into a category and that category being a generally a handicap of player i'm not sure paradigm irons do quite that i think they fit a broad range and a broad spectrum so if you're a player that wants a game improvement iron and therefore wants a little bit of forgiveness and a bit of bulk and mass then yes they do that if you're a player that wants a bit of playability, then this kind of iron is a small enough profile to make it playable. If you want that combination of both, it does exactly that. And I think that's a key factor. And I think that's what they've managed to achieve here is and why they're of such interest to me. I think this iron appeals to a real broad spectrum of players in both um, ability and also what you like in terms of visually, because I think they tick a number of boxes. Um, I was super impressed with the way they performed, but we've seen hollow body tungsten irons perform well in the past. The one thing they do better than some others is they sound better in my opinion, but then in terms of performance overall, I kept the ball straight. The ball flight was very consistent. They just all round decent, solid performer. And I think, like I said, could appeal to many. I've already said they'll come at a price tag like everything does right now so that'll be down to you but definitely if you're looking for irons these are an interesting addition to that equation right now and uh, could throw a little bit of a uh, a bit of a curveball into the works because like i said they're, they're not your typical iron that you'd go and categorize into one niche nor the other so uh, i've got a feeling quite a lot of you might be trying them and uh, if you're ready to spend some money, they could end up in your bag as well. Right, that's me done. As ever, thank you for watching. Um, absolute glorious day down at Hollywell Golf Club. I enjoyed that. Three straightforward pars. Maybe it's time to uh, just stick to irons, eh? Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.